that I had no domestic violence issues. And the article points out that our child, our children ground the veteran into being a nurturing, caring, loving mother or father. Yes, sir. Good evening. How are you? Good. Did you have a story to tell or a question to ask? I've got a story. I've had a um, high conflict uh, custody issue has been going on. I'm a multi-deployed uh, um, combat veteran from uh, 2001 to 2007. Um, there is an article done by an Army major who was a judge advocate officer by the name of Evan R. Simone, S-E-A-M-O-N-E, in the Family Court Review. And you might be aware that we have what's called Veterans Court in criminal cases mm-hmm. for veterans. Mm-hmm. He, is, he is advocating that there be a Veterans Court in family law. Because when we come home after multi-deployments, um, what happened to me, and a lot of vets I know, we get stigmatized because supposedly we were killers and, you know, stuff like that. I had no domestic violence issues. And the article points out that our chi- our children ground the veteran into being a nurturing, caring, loving mother or father. Mm-hmm. And um, it'd be something to really uh, broadcast and let folks know, um, especially the veteran community, that there are avenues of approach here to get past this stereotype of being a terrible baby killer, so to speak, you know, when we serve our country, but our children, those that don't have, you know, literal charges, but that's the essence. And my question would be, You know, family law court Mm -hmm. is supposed to be family, you know, as in mother, father, child. But it seems the commissioners and the judges are anti-family because they're specifically looking at, quote, the uh, well-being of the child. But I thought that was supposed to be in a dependency case. I I do not have any CPS cases or DCS stuff, but... um, if you could please respond, and I'll take your call off the air, sir. Thank you for your your time. And thank you for your service, Jacob. Well, to answer your question, um, I've heard that complaint many times. And I think, you know, uh, family law judges um, and, you know, juvenile judges make decisions based upon their background and experience and, and also on the law. And it just seems sometimes that, uh, you know, veterans may be getting a uh, short end of the stick. Um, and it's interesting. I, I, think you're, I think I support your idea or the idea that you brought up that there should be a veterans court for um, family law and perhaps uh, CPS cases because uh, veterans come with unique um, issues. And I think we are not, as a whole, giving them enough uh, examination and analysis in dealing with their types of cases. So I hope that answers your call.